Good start, Dylan. Good start. A few things we can do here. I, I've got a few recommendations. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so the, 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 I think the obvious thing is that this isn't bleeding. Um, this should be cropped right there, right? So that would be included in, in the bleed. So make sure that your final submission is, is accommodates for the bleed for, for, for to crop that circle for the purple background for dessert. Okay, um, headline subhead combination looks good. Good job using aerial bold, aerial bold italic, but let's go ahead and left align that, okay? And we're also gonna, well, we have a few changes to make. Well, let me start here. First thing we're gonna do is reduce the size of the logo. We're gonna place the logo in the lower right-hand corner, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna try to configure this so that it fits. That line right there is too long, so you might have to drop that down to the second line. My recommendation is to take the first line of all of these, see how address, phone, and website are aligned? Then you have the, the uh, colon. Now align everything else there instead of that, so it, you know, everything will be aligned at a margin, right? So you might have to drop uh, St. Thomas VI onto the second line there, so that would be, uh, you wouldn't have that long line there, right? So the, the result would be this, and you can take a look at some of the examples in the announcement to see how this is done, but the, the, the um, uh, final outcome would be address, con contact information over here, logo over here, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the headline and the subhead, and we're gonna take that subhead and we're gonna move it over and left align it and make sure that it's aligned with the left margin that you establish with the address area, okay? This is good. The body copy is good, but it looks like it's set in bold. Don't forget, um, aerial bold, I'm sorry, aerial bold for headlines, aerial bold italic for subheads, and then aerial regular for body copy there, okay? Other than that, I think that we're, we're looking pretty good. I think that's a, a nice, nice layout. Very accessible. Um, you might, well, let me see something here. Yeah, that bold type is just adding too much weight on the type on the uh, this area, this text area right here. So I think we're going to really see a, 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 that weight being alleviated when you transpose that into regular aerial as opposed to aerial bold. Um, other than that, I, that's about all I have. I think other than that, we're looking pretty darn good. So at this point, if you have any questions at all, Dylan, please let me know. I'll be glad to make any necessary clarifications. But I'd like to see those changes uh, reflected in your final magazine in. All right. Great job. Thanks, Dylan.